We perceive the sun as something yellowish-orange, but the sky isn't orange somehow. Well, it used to have that vibrant color around 2.5 billion years ago. The air on our planet was full of methane, which gave the sky that rusty tint. Later on, thanks to special microbes formed in the ocean and their little trick called photosynthesis, the Earth's atmosphere changed to what we have today. The sky today is blue because the light reflecting from the sun has all the rainbow colors traveling to our planet on different types of waves. As soon as the light hits the air molecules in the atmosphere, all these colors are then dispersed in all directions. Since blue color has the shortest wavelength, it's the color we see the most. Cats prefer that you pet them on the head, under the chin, and cheeks because it's where they have their scent glands. Rubbing them in these areas allows you to mix the scents, so your Mr. Fluffy can exchange the scents with you. It's the very same reason why fellow felines rub their faces together when they meet. They get a sort of colony scent this way. The reason why cats don't really enjoy belly rubbing is that this area is super sensitive. Leave that for the dogs. Many cats freak out over cucumbers because of a sort of genetic memory. Their ancestors were afraid of snakes, and since some cucumbers look very much like green snakes, today's cats instinctively are scared of both snakes and cucumbers. Our brain needs oxygen to feel refreshed and energetic. But when it rains, there's a lot of water vapor in the air, which lowers air pressure, and the oxygen content in the air decreases. So our brain sort of slacks off for some time, which is why we feel drowsy when it rains. The bottled water has an expiration date. However, the water itself doesn't go bad. The problem is about the bottle. The plastic starts releasing chemicals over time, so the water gets contaminated. You can't drink it anymore. Glass bottled water has an almost indefinite shelf life. Still, some criteria as changes in room temperature may lead to a slow increase of bacteria in water, so it might go bad too. In-flight food is way saltier and spicier than back on land. Airlines have to give an extra kick to all the dishes due to in-cabin conditions. The combination of dry air and changed pressure changes how we perceive taste. Also, the taste isn't only about taste buds. It's about 80% smell. But as odor receptors don't work the way they should because of dry cabin air, well, without some extra seasoning, the food would have been almost completely tasteless. Tears are salty because they have the same saltiness as our blood does. Thanks to these special salts, when tears flow on the eye's surface, they don't damage it. These salts are essential for keeping eye cells healthy. Also, tears contain some oils to lubricate the eyes and a bunch of other components that don't let bacteria grow. Tears work as a sort of oxygen supply for the eyes, because oxygen dissolves in tears and gets absorbed by the eye cells. Your blood is red because of millions of red blood cells responsible for carrying oxygen around the body. They're made out of hemoglobin, which is a protein containing a lot of iron. Iron is vital for carrying blood around your whole body and when it reacts with oxygen, it reflects red light. Just like rust, which also has a reddish tint and is the product of the oxidation of iron. Veins appear blue because they're under our skin, and skin scatters more blue light than red. Also, the skin around the veins looks even redder than the veins, enhancing the contrast, and the veins appear even bluer. However, it's just an illusion. Our blood is always red. Most genes are blue because they were originally dyed with indigo dye with a rich blue tint. This dye was picked for the way it interacted with cotton. When the cotton is heated, most dyes just penetrate it, but indigo dye stays attached to the surface. As a result, each time people wash their genes, the dye molecules escape the fabric, leaving a unique pattern on each garment. Today, manufacturers use synthetic indigo dye. Supermarket tomatoes look tremendous but taste bland because, for the past 70 years, farmers have opted for fruits that ripen more evenly and look better and more pleasing to customers. Wild tomatoes are dark green and don't ripen evenly. Still, the tomatoes the farmers grow have a teeny tiny mutation in one gene. It's why they are evenly colored but can't produce chloroplast properly. It changes the whole photosynthesis process, 
leaving the evenly colored tomatoes with less sugar in their tissues. As a result, these tomatoes tend to taste like cardboard. Your body jerks before you fall asleep because your muscles relax before snoozing and your brain misunderstands a bit what's going on. For a couple of seconds, it thinks you're about to fall, and the brain sends a signal to the muscles to tense. So your brain just wants to catch you and prevent slipping from the bed. The space below a cup of noodles is there to protect the noodles during transport. This technique is called a middle suspension. This way, they're protected better in their styrofoam cup, and it also helps those noodles soften more evenly and quickly. A progress bar at 99% doesn't mean half of the file has been downloaded. It means almost all of the files could have been downloaded or none. They're just there to ease your mind. Chewing gum wasn't invented to keep your breath fresh. It was supposed to be a replacement for rubber. But the rubber experiment failed, giving opportunity to a modern version of chewing gum. Some centuries ago, people didn't really enjoy sipping their drinks with a straw, since those straws were just long tubes made of natural rot. Those tubes would give a grassy flavor to whatever drink they plopped in. The first modern-looking straw appeared in the 19th century because one man was very annoyed that the rye tube spoiled his drink. It was, as they say, the last straw. He wound the paper into a straw shape and secured it with paraffin wax. Sandwiches have all their filling in between two slices of bread to keep the hands clean. Well, but at least it was so when the first sandwich was invented. Some centuries ago, I wasn't around then, the fourth Earl of Sandwich asked his chef to cook him something yummy. A cook wrapped meat and all the other ingredients in bread to make the dish greaseproof. The tingling feeling you get every time you munch on a pineapple is because the pineapple munches on you, too. This fruit contains loads of bromelain, which is a powerful enzyme, breaking down protein cells. And here's where the feeling comes from. No worries, once you've swallowed that mouthful of pineapple, your stomach's acid will break down the bromelain fast. All the ingredients in margarita pizza stand for one of the colors of the Italian flag. Basil represents the green stripe, mozzarella represents the white one, and tomatoes represent the red stripe. The scalloped edges on Ritz crackers are there so that you can roll the cracker over your cheese so you'll get the perfect size piece to sit on top. It works for softest cheese only. Don't even try to cut some Parmesan like this. The weird serrated opening centered where the handles and blades meet on your kitchen scissors has a handy function. It can be used to de-stem things like thyme and rosemary in one motion so you don't have to pick all the leaves off by hand. It can also be used as a bottle opener. You probably grate your cheese with a cutting board or a plate underneath the box grater. Try a more convenient method. Flip the box grater and lay it on the side. This way you'll get the finest shreds of cheese and it's mess-free. Earl Grey tea's aroma somehow resembles lemon. It's because this sort of tea is infused with a citrus fruit called bergamot which looks like a tiny green, wrinkled lemon. Some studies claim it's best to have our fans pointed towards the window to cool down the air in the room more efficiently. This method helps blow warm air out of the room and pull cool air in. Plus, it creates a sort of cross-ventilation even if the wind's not blowing. Some types of chocolate melt in your mouth, while others don't. It all depends on the products it was made with. While cocoa butter stays solid at room temperature, but melts at around 93 to 101 Fahrenheit, which is human body temperature, its substitutes, such as palm oil, stay solid even in your mouth. However, palm oil could be great to keep those chocolate bars from melting during the summer heat. Cooking chocolate tends to have less cocoa butter than regular chocolate, making it more difficult to melt. However, it does melt in the oven, and the true reason why chocolate chips and cookies seem intact is that they're surrounded by dough. Once the cookies cool down, chocolate chips solidify again. You've probably heard those myths, the blue side of the eraser can erase the pen? False. Its purpose is to erase a pencil. But in case you're writing something on heavier paper. The blue side can remove smudges you see after using the pink eraser too. 
Have you ever wondered why oranges in supermarkets mostly come in the red mesh bag? It's a trick to make this food look more orange and encourage you to make a purchase. An extra tip, don't throw away the mesh bag. Tie it up so you can have a small pot scrubber to clean your sink, kitchen, appliances, and dishes. You can see golf balls don't have a perfectly round shape. Their surface is covered with many little dimples, something golf balls didn't always have. At one point, experienced golfers started noticing how, through time, older balls with imperfections, such as nicks and bumps, could travel further. Such things create turbulence in the air around the golf ball, which eventually reduces drag. So, manufacturers started producing balls with dimples so they could go farther and faster. You might have noticed that sometimes there are ridges in toothpick tops. It's more hygienic because when you break that off, you can prop the toothpick up on it and it won't touch anything. Another safety feature you'll find, this time in your car, is a tab on your rear view mirror. With it, you can change the position of the mirror so you don't get blinded if there's a car behind you with its high beams on. So this little tab helps you control the glare of lights coming from behind. This feature showed up in the 1930s, but in the early 1970s, it became a part of standard equipment in most trucks and cars. Do you see that tiny hole on your iPhone right next to the rear-facing camera? It's a microphone, and it's there so your phone can record sound as you turn your camera around. Some cables have a thick cylinder towards the end of the cord. It's called a ferrite core or a choke. It's a magnetic iron oxide that stops high-frequency electromagnetic interference. For example, you know that annoying static noise you get if you bring your phone too close to a speaker? This interrupts your call, which is why cable cords with big cylinders are pretty useful, because they prevent these things. Do you know why nearly all luggage bags and backpacks have two zippers? It's way more convenient and easier to open in that way. But not just that. You can also lock these two zippers together to keep the stuff inside your bags safer. You know how toilets at public spots like malls have those big gaps at the bottom? It's primarily for better circulation of air. This type of door also makes it easier to clean the toilet or check if it's occupied if you're standing in line. Other than that, if you get stuck there and the lock gets broken, you still have a way to escape. You can just crawl out. Ever notice those plastic end caps on utility knives? And they also have scales on them, which indicates you may use them multiple times, but with sharp edges. You can separate the blades through these plastic end caps. Then you can move the slider and bring the sharp blade to the front. If you've ever taken a moment to examine a regular grocery cart, especially their fold-out section, you probably notice those metal loops jutting out. They're designed to protect the items you carry in your cart. You can use them to hang bags with soft items. You don't want to accidentally squish with heavier products, like bread, or easily breakable things like eggs. Many coffee mugs come with curved notches on their bottom. When you're washing your mugs, put them against the rack at an angle in your dishwasher. This way, the water won't pool in there so your favorite cup will be completely dry by the time you take it out of the dishwasher. If you're a McFlurry fan, you've probably noticed there's a square hole in the handle of the spoon. It's there so you can attach it to the special machine that mixes the ice cream and your favorite toppings together. The machine has a bar that slips into this square-shaped spoon and then thoroughly stirs it. And you get the spoon so they can minimize the mess during the process. Quite neat, wouldn't you say? It's better to avoid making important decisions during a flight. Your brain doesn't get enough oxygen at such heights. This negatively affects its functioning. Chewing gum, hard candies, and mints can help you to avoid this annoying ear popping during takeoff and landing, but not because of the candy itself. You feel better thanks to the process of swallowing. Yawning helps too. As for the gum, it also helps get rid of that bad breath caused by the thin air at high altitudes, which pulls moisture right out of your body. Dry air can make you feel as if you're coming down with a cold. 
The air in the cabin dries out your nose and throat, as if you have symptoms of a cold. These symptoms usually go away right after landing. The water they use to make coffee and tea on board isn't always clean enough. Yeah, many companies use very good water filters now, but still, it's better to ask for bottled water if you're thirsty. That tiny triangle on the aircraft wall over your seat means a lot for flight attendants. These triangles mark the windows through which you can see flashing indicators. Those signal the retraction of the landing gears and the closing of the flaps. Let's say the pilots find out there's some problem. In that case, a flight attendant rushes to the necessary window to check what's happening. But for passengers, this is just the best place for photos, since you can see the wings perfectly. Seats in the middle of the cabin above the wings are the best for you if you have motion sickness. This area is more balanced and shakes the least during turbulence. If you tend to get nervous during the flight, do some physical exercise not long before boarding the plane. A little workout helps lower your stress levels and makes your body release endorphins, the happiness hormones. Also, this physical activity compensates for the hours you spend sitting still. The turbines are located under the wings since this makes it cheaper, faster, and easier to service the engines. Previously, they used to be placed in the tail. It required expensive equipment and much more time to repair. When they started installing the engines below the wings, ticket prices went down. Imagine you're flying in a hot air balloon. See the burner system installed under the gas bag, also called the envelope? It heats the air inside, which makes the balloon go up. So, turbulence is the same hot air but created by nature. When the air heats up, it rises a plane. When it becomes cooler, the aircraft goes down. And passengers feel as if they're riding a roller coaster. A stream of hot air left by another plane can also cause turbulence. It's common for most flights, but usually, turbulence is so light that passengers don't feel it. Do you know that planes can fly even after one engine fails? Pilots can control such emergency situations and land the aircraft safely. Passengers may feel a slight tilt during the flight, but in most cases, they don't even know the plane is flying with only one engine. Your eyes get oxygen straight from the air. It's not delivered by the blood. So your eyes can feel somewhat dry during the flight. Put eye drops in your bag. They'll help you keep your eyes moist. It's forbidden to carry large volumes of liquids on board because some hazardous substances can easily dissolve in water. If a plane has to land on water, its wings become a life-saving pillow. Empty fuel tanks help the aircraft stay afloat too. By the way, it can be from 10 minutes to 60 hours before the plane sinks. It all depends on the model, weather conditions, and the pilot's skills. Those smiling flight attendants you meet when you get into the cabin usually hide their hands behind their backs. They're counting people entering the plane to make sure that all passengers are on board. Despite all the words people say about airplane food, it's not actually so bad. The problem is your sense of taste. It's not so acute since the air in the cabin makes your mouth dry. It also dulls your sense of smell. That's why airlines add a lot of spices and salt to their meals. Is it true that your hair grows faster during the flight? Not really. Scientists haven't managed to prove it. This myth appeared in the first part of the 20th century when some passengers noticed that their stubble had grown longer during the flight. It's normal for people to get headaches during the flight, especially right after takeoff. You climb to an altitude higher than Mount Everest within about 10 minutes. These changes happen too fast for your body to adjust. Seatbelts on planes stretch across your stomach to save you from getting slammed against the ceiling in case of turbulence. When it happens, the aircraft starts moving up and down, and your waist belt holds you securely. And seatbelts in cars protect people from horizontal collisions. Airplanes have special protection from lightning. Even if it strikes, passengers won't feel it. Planes are covered with an aluminum coating that conducts electric current, but doesn't let it get inside the plane. Electronics and fuel tanks also have extra protection. Plane seats are so uncomfortable because airlines try to fit the maximum number of passengers on the plane. That's why there's so little space between seats. Two additional rows means 12 more passengers. Also, companies make airplane seats lighter to save on fuel costs. Even seemingly insignificant extra weight can cost an airline thousands of dollars. Speaking of everyday items, and I was, most doorknobs are made of brass because this material makes them naturally germ-free. 
Unlike plastic ones, brass doorknobs are kind of magical. They can disinfect themselves without you having to clean them. Neat, right? Have you ever noticed that at the bottom of a measuring tape, there is a little dip? You can find it in that metallic part you need to pull on to measure something. Well, that dip is actually the exact size of a regular nail. It was designed for people to place the tape on top of a nail and use it as a support while they stretch the tape. Well, I can't wait to try it out for myself. As for the margins in your notebook, they were invented to protect people's notes from mice. No, the mice weren't copying your answers for the math quiz. Actually, there were times when people had to cohabitate with rats and mice that often chewed on paper. So, to prevent information from getting completely lost, people created margins. This way, texts were moved closer to the middle of pages and remained unharmed by rodents. Hmm, perhaps this is where to digest information came from. And what about those tiny holes at the bottom of airplane windows? They have an extremely important function of regulating the air pressure inside the cabin. In other words, they help planes fly high up in the sky. Big responsibility, right? By the way, tray tables on an airplane are the germiest places inside the entire cabin. Studies showed that the trays had eight times the amount of germs on the toilet flush button. Now, how about we cut a commercial airplane in half and see what's inside? Well, it would look more or less like this. Rows of seats on top and everything else that needs to be stored at the bottom. I'm talking about passengers' luggage, emergency supplies, parts of the wing system, and so on. Moving on to bowling balls. Yes, I know it's a clumsy transition. Anyway, have you ever wondered what the insides of a bowling ball look like? If you have cut a professional ball in two, you'll see a familiar shape. Look closely, do you see it? Doesn't that look like the logo of Brightside? Anyway, professional bowling balls are different from the ones in your local bowling alley. That's because they're designed to make fancy moves. They actually have some really complex engineering inside. They're shaped to help skilled professionals get more strikes. The weight of professional bowling balls is designed to be projected inward as they travel down the bowling lane. This makes it harder for them to get into the gutters on the sides of the lane. Speaking of balls, let's take a look inside a baseball. To make it light and aerodynamic, producers use several different layers. Starting from the core, we have a cork center enveloped by black rubber. Then there's a layer of red rubber followed by two or three alternating layers of wool yarn. After that, there's a visible white leather cover and that beautiful red seam on the side, stitching it all together. And what if you had x-ray vision and managed to look inside a human bone? Ooh, spooky! I'd say what calls most attention is this spiderweb-like situation at the center of the bone. In reality, it's a highly condensed and complex structure of nerves that you have inside your bones. Aren't you lucky? Now, I've got a riddle for you. What is round can be found near the ocean and looks like an aerial view of the Guggenheim Museum in New York City, the one that's made almost entirely of ramps. If you said a nautilus shell, hey, then you guessed right. A nautilus is a shellfish whose house you can find in countless souvenir stores near the beach. It's made up of two layers, a matte white outer layer and an iridescent white inner layer. And if you were to cut it in half, it would look very similar to the insides of the Guggenheim Museum. Aloe leaves are good for healing purposes and also for hydration. But if you managed to look inside of an aloe leaf, the image you'd see would be satisfying and very relaxing. Who hasn't dreamed of a pool filled with jelly? Now, there seems to be nothing more mundane and regular than a tube of toothpaste. But you wouldn't think so if you cut open a tube that contains several colors. Now, there have been speculations that the insides of such a toothpaste tube might be divided by barriers so that the stripes don't mix. 
But if you cut it in half, you'll see that it has only one interior chamber. As it happens, there's a lot of science behind the making of striped toothpaste. According to a specialist, they have to ensure that the paste in all the stripes has the same physical properties. This way, the colors are naturally prevented from mixing with one another. That's why, if you tear a tube open, you'll see something that looks like several slices of pizza in different colors. If you open your closet, you're bound to find at least a few wooden hangers. Usually, they're made of cedar wood, which is a natural moth repellent. So, cedar hangers actually protect your clothes from moth infestation. You can use a plastic lid from soda cups as a coaster. It has the perfect shape to hold your drink and keep a table surface from getting wet. Don't turn the lid upside down. Just put it on the table the same way it was on the cup. If you're stuck in a car during an accident and can't open the doors, you can use bars from the detachable headrest to break the window and get out. Remember those small plastic discs under the bottle lids? This little thing helps preserve vacuum inside bottles, keeping soda in a fizzy state. You've probably watched food heating in a microwave at least once in your life. Exciting, I know! But why do the developers make the door so dark? This black film is necessary to block electromagnetic fields. Tiny dots on padlocks next to the keyhole are designed to dry out the moisture if water gets inside the lock. Also, if the lock gets jammed or starts to rust, you can pour oil into it through this hole to fix the problem. A golf ball is covered with tiny craters for good aerodynamics. They're called dimples, and this design helps the ball fly further and more evenly. Some mugs have a little groove at the outside of the bottom. It helps water flow out and prevents it from accumulating when the cup is in the dishwasher. Sunglasses were first used not to protect your eyes from the sun. They use such glasses during Arctic expeditions. A huge amount of snow can blind you just like a bright flash. To save their eyes, they came up with these unique glasses. You can use any t-shirt not only for dressing, but also as a protective layer for your luggage. Just put your clothes on your suitcase as a cover and don't waste time plastic wrapping it. A button on the back of the shirt collar is there to keep your tie under the collar. Yes, people don't use it as intended because all ties are thinner now. But this button is still there as a decorative function. And here's the initial purpose of a tie. They created it in the 17th century Europe to tighten the collar. This way, people protected their necks from a strong wind. Then, they got used to this part of the outfit and made it a must-have accessory for royal gatherings. Soft pom-poms on hats were first invented several centuries ago. Sailors used them to avoid hitting their heads against low ship ceilings and ledges. They make most clothes hangers from cedarwood, since it contains many natural oils repelling moths that love to eat your clothes. A light bulb is spherical because such a shape allows the light to distribute evenly. Also, such light bulbs are cheaper and easier to produce. Ever found these pieces of fabric in new clothes? They're not just patches, but also testing subjects to use before washing. You can put this piece in the washing machine and see what happens to it. If everything is fine, then you can safely put your clothes in. Your ceiling fan has two modes of work, winter and summer. You need to find the switch on it. Push it up to activate the winter mode and down for the summer one. In summer mode, the fan pushes the air down. It pulls the air up in winter. Most people have this round plunger in the bathroom. In movies, they use those to eliminate a blockage in the toilet. In fact, the plunger is to get rid of a blockage in the sink. For the toilet, you need another special device. The extra space under your oven is not for keeping pans and pots. You can put some dishes there. The heat of the stove will keep your meals warm. It's useful if you're waiting for friends late for dinner. <clears throat> you're taking a pack of popcorn out of a microwave after heating. See the little hole at the top of the popcorn bag? You can use it to get rid of small unpopped grains. Shake the pack over the plate and all the grains will fall out through the hole. Almost all people use a travel pillow incorrectly. Usually, they put two ends forward and lay their heads back. 
Try to turn the pillow on the other side. The arc should be under your chin, and the two ends should be directed back. Lay your head forward, and your neck will feel way more comfortable in this position. And you'll get a good nap. They create magnets in a horseshoe shape to increase their magnetic power. The blue part indicates the south pole, the red part the north one. The two poles work simultaneously and increase the attraction. Thanks to the perfect aviation design, most planes can fly a long distance even without an engine. In 1268, Roger Bacon made the first written mention on using telescope lenses for optical purposes. Magnifying lenses inserted in frames were popular for reading both in Europe and China at this time, so it's still a question if the West took it from the East or vice versa. If you find yourself in the middle of the sea without food, sorry, you can try fishing. You can use anything for bait – your phone, watch, keys – and you can use laces as a fishing line. Tie the bait and throw it into the water. And good luck catching the fish that swallowed your phone. It's going to be a whopper. Vacuums come with so many attachments, but do any of us really know what that one with long bristles is for? It's for dusting and is perfect for cleaning framed art, blinds, and lampshades. What's the difference between a wooden hanger and a plastic one? Aside from helping keep your clothes in shape, cedar wood hangers also repel moths and bugs. Salt isn't just used for cooking. It can get rid of tough smells. Rubbing salt on your fingertips after chopping garlic should remove the smell. It also works on shoes. Toasters have a secret slide in the bottom that can be removed, so you can clean out all those annoying breadcrumbs. If you ever had problems with popping chocolates from the box, look at those little holes around them. They're there to help you. If you push a hole right next to the candy, it'll jump out easily. When you take a sip from a coffee cup with a lid, it decreases air pressure inside the cup, so air tries to get in. The tiny hole on the lid allows air to enter that way, so liquid can smoothly pour out the main hole. More on beverage lids. The small button on them let restaurant workers, and customers too, understand what's in a cup. Near each button, there's a name. Just look at which one is pushed down. The numbers on the fruit stickers tell you how exactly they were grown. If there are four digits and the first is four or three, the fruit has been sprayed with pesticides. If there are five digits and the first is nine, the fruit has been grown organically. If there are five digits and the first is eight, the fruit has been genetically modified. When you're on your way back to the car after bagging up everything you bought, use loops on a shopping cart to hang the bags. Now softer items like bread, eggs, fruit and veggies won't get squashed by the heavier goods. If you don't have anyone to hold the other end of your tape measure when you try to measure something, tap a nail on it. Now, simply hook your tape on it using the tiny hole all tape measures have. The square-shaped spoon that goes with a McFlurry helps to mix the ice cream toppings through the dessert. The spoon hooks directly to a machine and spins around. Padlocks that are used outside quickly get out of order because of rain. See this little hole in the bottom? It's made for pouring engine oil inside. Do this and the key will again turn in the lock without any difficulty. You keep banging the bottom of a glass ketchup jar, but nothing's coming out. Here's a little tip. Turn your ketchup bottle at an angle and tap on the middle of the neck. In many fast food restaurants, customers fill tiny folded paper cups to get a portion of ketchup or mustard. Here's the news. The cups are supposed to unfold and turn into small paper platters to hold a great deal more sauce. That little hole on the handle of a pot or a frying pan isn't just for hanging them on the wall. During cooking, put the end of your utensil in the hole, and it'll be propped over the pot to save your kitchen from extra mess. The blue or any other dark color bristles on your toothbrush are meant to remind you when it's time to get a new one. If you see that bristles have become pale, change the toothbrush or its head. An extra hole at the upper part of the sink has multiple hidden functions. First, in case someone forgets to close the tap, 
the water won't overflow and the bathroom won't get flooded. Second, thanks to that hole, the water drains faster as it gives an escape for the air, helping the water flow down. Most metallic zippers have a hidden lock inside them to save you from awkward situations, such as an undone fly. Don't leave the zipper handle in an upward position. When you pull it downwards, it automatically locks. It's all thanks to those tiny grooves hidden underneath the handle. Spoiled milk emits gases, like most foods when they go off. A classic plastic milk jug has a concave shape on one side. So when the gases expand inside the jug, it expands too, and the concave shape curves out. Also, if you want to save some milk for later and freeze it, the jug will expand when the milk gets solid as well, occupying more space in a jug. Bath foam isn't only for fun or a nice smell. It also helps regulate the temperature. The bubbles keep the water hot, so you can enjoy a bath a bit longer. Anyway, it works for acrylic bathtubs only. Those made of metal lose heat really fast either way. Many cups and mugs have little grooves on the bottom on purpose. They're designed for washing machines. The grooves let the water flow and not spill over your feet when you take the cup out. Also, those grooves let the air flow so the cup doesn't crack even if the tea is scalding. A point on an ointment cap is there for a reason too. Most tubes are usually sealed with foil and it's better to avoid opening it with fingers unless you're ready to say goodbye to your nails. A point easily opens even the most safely sealed tube. If you take a box of aluminum foil, you'll see tabs you can press on the side. They keep the foil straight and prevent it from rolling. It's also easier to tear off some amount of foil thanks to those tabs. Jerry cans have three handles for a reason. It's a smart designer move, so when you carry it alone, you use only the central handle to distribute the weight evenly. But your friend wants to help you out. Each of you grabs the side handle. Two flat prongs you can see on standard plugs used in North and Central America make sense. But how about those holes near the tips? Thanks to them, the outlet firmly grips the plug so that it won't loosen or fall out of the socket. It's sometimes irritating when you haven't used the entire stick of deodorant. There's a little bit more left, but it's hard to reach it. Okay, the trick is easy. Unscrew the bottom, take a pencil, and force it underneath that moving platform. That way, you'll push what's left of the deodorant out. There's a number put on the side of many cosmetic products. It isn't picked randomly. It tells you how long your product will last after you've opened it. This is why it has an open jar for a graphic symbol. A lint roller is good at removing those tiny fibers, but you can also use it to clean other stuff. For example, when you want to remove the dirt from the utensil tray in your dishwasher, simply take your sticky lint roller and put it into each compartment, and all the crumbs, dirt, and leftovers are all gone. Kings depicted on playing cards are real historical characters. Spades, King David. Clubs, Alexander the Great. Hearts, Charles the Great. Diamonds, Julius Caesar. Rings used to be more than a stylish accessory. The nobility used rings as a seal. Archers wore rings to protect their fingers from bowstring injuries, while needlewomen from needle pricks. Detachable headrests in cars are all about safety. If you pull it out of a seat, you'll see two pretty sturdy bars. If you ever get locked or trapped in a car, you can get out of there smashing the window with these bars. A little arrow next to the refueling indicator on the car's dashboard indicates which side of the vehicle has fuel tank openings. It's useful when you need to refuel a rented car. You are probably using shampoo wrong all the time. Well, the main thing you should know is that you don't apply it directly on your hair. You gotta apply it onto the roots only. The foam that you make is enough to clean your hair. A button on the reverse side of a shirt collar is needed to hold a tie in place. Anyway, this button was designed for slim ties that are not that popular today, so this button is only an element of design. A cotton pads pack has those strings on it to hang it on some hook or holder. There's no need to untighten and tighten the pack again. Look at the bottom, it has a perforated line. Tear along it and just pull out a cotton pad from a hanging pack. It's a myth that the red side of the eraser is for pencil and the blue one is for ink. The blue gets rid of mistakes on thicker types of paper only. It works both for pencil and even ink, but make sure the paper is really thick. 
But that blue little thing can do so much more. It can polish your jewelry, clean your electronics. For example, the screen of your cell phone. You know those irritating sticker residues that won't peel off? Eraser helps there too. Same as with cleaning scuffed up suede or dirt you have on your walls. There's no need to tear one of its edges on stick sachets. The right way is to tear them down the middle. You say it's not a big difference, but at least there's less mess with those torn paper bits. A small V patch at the bottom of the collar helps put on the sweater without losing any shape over time because it's made of a double layer of webbing material, just like waistbands and cuffs. To avoid spilling juice right onto your t-shirt, try pouring it from the other side of the carton. This way, it sloshes less and it's easier to control. To enjoy fresh and soft peanut butter, store it upside down. This way, the oils won't stay on the bottom all the time and distribute evenly in the jar. Yeah, you've heard before that a drawer beneath your oven is there for keeping the food warm if the guests are running late. Hey, you can also slow cook on lower temperatures in that drawer. Automatic lip liners and eye pencils sometimes have a sharpener installed in the package. The lid on the back part of the pencil doesn't only reveal the color. You can pull it out and sharpen up the product. Grocery cart loops help organize all the stuff in your cart better so you can enjoy your supermarket trip. You don't want to put your brand new fancy white jacket in a cart next to carrots and onions, huh? Fruit stickers know everything about your apple's past. A five-digit number where the first number is nine is a good sign. It's an organic product. A four-digit number starting with a three or four means it was conventionally farmed. If the number starts with an eight and there are five digits, it's best to leave it on the shelf. Metal buttons on jeans, also known as rivets, help make the pockets more durable when miners would fill them with heavy tools. They're still helpful today. Even if you don't store anything heavy in your pockets, rivets strengthen the seams and make your jeans last longer. All Tic Tac containers are designed to dispense one Tic Tac every time you open it. The lid has the same shape as the candy. Turn the container upside down, gently shake it and slowly open it. You'll notice only one candy stuck between those lid grooves. So if you just open the container and shake it until five or even more candies fall into your mouth, it means you've been eating Tic Tacs wrong all this time. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.